How to fit a thermal pad to your LG G3 phone. You will need to buy a piece of this um, thermal pad, one millimeter thick, um, from eBay or AliExpress or somewhere. It's about between one and three pounds a sheet. Take the back of your phone off, remove the battery, put the back to one side. I like to use a little tray just to keep screws and things in. Start by removing all of the screws you can see around the rear of the phone. You'll need a very small tipped Phillips screwdriver for this. These screws are all the same size with the exception of this one which is slightly shorter. So make a note of that before you put them back. Doing this as fast as I can. I understand unscrewing screws is not very interesting, but I just wanted to show you the whole process from start to finish. When these phones were made, LG decided not to put any thermal compound between the main processor and the metal heatsink in the fan, and over time, the, a gap appears between the two and the phone starts to get hot, especially when charging or using for video work. Um, this can result in some undesirable behaviour in the phone, crashing and restarts and just uh, all manner of processor related things. So it's a good idea to do this. These are good phones. Um, overall and have very good cameras so it's a shame to just discard them when they start to play up for such a simple issue right I think all my screws are out oh no there's one there okay right we can start by removing this plastic trim generally it should just lift off like that place that to one side this bit can be a little trickier to get off but it should with a little bit of wiggling just lift away like that oh there's another screw in there make sure you don't lose any um, he just lifts off there's some contacts on the back here which make with the board so be very careful not to damage any of those once that's off you'll need to undo these tiny ribbon cables again be very careful with these just get your fingernail under them and just lift gently along the length of the connector until you feel it move away from the board and it should just fold up like that you've got to be very careful with all of the things on these phones or any of these microelectronic devices they are very easily damaged and require a little patience there's just one more there once you've got those disconnected the board can then be lifted up I like to just lift it gently from the USB port lift gently and just move that out way and it should just lift off like that oh, my little camera's falling out there we'll put him back in a second once you've got the board off you can clearly see the processor and the recess where the processor fits. Now, um, this um, area here is where you want to apply the, the heat sink. So, we'll take a sheet of heat sink. I've already just done one of these today, so I kind of know the size. But if you just mark out roughly the size you want, you can cut it with a pair of scissors like 
side. Make sure that's pretty much the correct size. I'm slightly big there, so I'll just trim that out. That looks about right. Right, when you peel this off, it's a very slight adhesive on one side, and I like to place that in the area on the back of the phone there. Now, just in case. Um, the contact isn't brilliant. I also, you, know, you don't have to do this, but I like to just put a little bit of heat sink compound on there as well. I know a lot of people will criticize me for this, but that's just the way I do it. Right, once you've done that, let's put our camera back. In there. Get him the crack way out. It's worth while you've got this out checking this tiny little battery that's soldered to the board. Now these can actually corrode. I've seen these corroded. So just have a look under a microscope or a magnifying glass. See what that looks like. He actually looks fine. Let's place our board back. Now be mindful of the cables. We need to get under the camera well and just lift him up like so. Two more down the bottom here, of course. Just release those. Now him, make sure you've got him all set back nicely. Then gently push these connectors back. You'll, you'll feel them just click into place. Don't apply too much pressure. If it doesn't go, chances are you have it in the wrong place. So just move it about until you, you feel it, locate and click in. Okay, that's all. Make sure he's all sat down, I think that's good. Connectors are all in. Okay, and then just replace the plastic back. So Then we just replace the screws. Now remember that short screw, which is this one, it's shorter than the rest. He has to go next to the camera. There. All the rest are the same size. So you can put those back.
Once all your screws have been replaced, you can place your battery back in and make sure your phone's working. It's working just fine. And that's it. And that should help eliminate any um, overheating issues um, with the processor. Thanks for watching.